Ticonderoga is a super rare rarity aircraft carrier from the Eagle Union and is part of the Essex class of aircraft carrier. She's only available during the Mirror Involution banner, which is currently having a rerun from the 21st to the 28th of June. TIE was launched from Newport News Shipbuilding on the 7th of February 1944. Commissioned on the 8th of May 1944, decommissioned on the 9th of January 1947, recommissioned on the 1st of October, decommissioned on the 1st of September 1973, stricken on the 16th of November 1973, and scrapped on the 15th of August 1974. Tai did the usual tasks an American aircraft carrier did in the Second World War. Here are her more interesting exploits. She was originally laid down as the USS Hancock, but later changed to USS Ticonderoga. Reclassified to an attack carrier in 1952, then an anti-submarine carrier in 1969. Was captained by Captain Dixie Kiefer, an ex-executive officer of the USS Yorktown, of the Yorktown class. Provided air cover during the Battle of Leyte, assisted in the sinking of IJN Nachi, as well as shooting down six aircraft, damaging 23. Later, she destroyed IJN Kiso, Kumano, Yaoshima, and four destroyers. She was hit by a kamikaze pilot that crashed through her flight deck, having its bomb explode just above the hangar deck. Captain Kiefer ordered magazines and other compartments to be flooded to prevent further explosions, such as the aircraft that exploded from the attack. Four other kamikaze attacked, with three being shot down by her AA guns and the fourth hitting her right side, setting more aircraft on fire. 100 soldiers were killed or wounded, with Kiefer being one of the wounded. Survived two typhoons in six months. Joined the aerial bombardment of Minami and Kita Daito. Joined Task Force 38, who sunk Ise, Hyuga, Haruna, and Kaio during the ship strikes of the Japanese inland sea later sinking an aircraft carrier, three cruisers, a destroyer, a submarine at the Kure Naval Base. Searched for POW camps and airdrop supplies while they waited for rescue. Joined USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay. Had multiple upgrades given post-war, such as steam catapults for jets, nylon barricades, deck edge elevators, fire control equipment, electronics, and an angled flight deck. Participated in the tests of the A4D Skyhawk, F4D Skyray, F7U Cutlass, and F3H Demon. Retaliated against attacks on USS Maddox and Turner Joy in the Gulf of Tonkin incident, using F8E Crusaders armed with rockets. Later directly attacking with the USS Constellation, bases, and oil storage facilities. Lost an A4 Skyhawk piloted by Lt. J.G. Douglas Webster, and a B-43 nuclear bomb that it had mounted, when it rolled from a hangar bay onto an elevator. Appeared in the movie Tora 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 while playing the USS Enterprise. Recovered the Apollo 17 crew and later the Skylab 2 astronauts. In her character art, drawn by Kai Tomohiro, Tai wears a black collared crop top with a white four on it, a red tie, and a sleeveless navy blue shirt with two black straps, a blue and black miniskirt, thigh highs with black belts fastening them at the top, blue and white zip-up boots, a bird of paradise flower in her hair, fingerless arm gloves, and a dark blue overcoat with a red interior, which has the Essex class carrier star and some letters on the flap of the jacket that are unreadable. Her rigging consists of an unnamed bald eagle flying in the background, a flagpole with the Eagle Union flag being held in her left hand, what appears to be a Grumman F4F Wildcat flying to her right, and two carrier decks to her left and right, with the right side being smaller than the two, and possibly a nod to her angled flight deck. She also has some blue waves to her left. She also has her showstopper outfit available for rental with the skin rental tickets or purchase with gems. Ticonderoga wears a lace-up and strapped corset that digs into her chest and leaves her midriff and stomach exposed. A tailcoat behind her, a collar with red bow tie, red and purple striped thigh highs with black elastics, black and red high heels, black bunny ears, cuffs on her wrists, and the same bird of paradise flower in her hair. Above her right hand is some Manju trading card, 
and her left is a half full martini glass. She sits on the stairs up to a stage with a drunk manju under her legs holding a martini glass. The stage itself having two speakers, lights, an LED screen, and scaffolding. And another manju with bunny ears sits atop the speaker to her left. In her voice lines, voiced by Kana Ichinose, who also voices Ichigo in Darling in the Bronx, Maki Shijo in Kaguya-sama, Tuesday Simmons in Carol and Tuesday, Yuzu Riha Ogawa in Dr. Stone, Saleta Mercury and Eric Samaya in Gundam Witch from Mercury, Purin in DIY, and Mark 12 in Scout in Girls Frontline, Ticonderoga enjoys having skinship with the commander. <笑>今日からこの母校に着任する体根出るがよ。噂通り素敵な指揮官でよかったわ。仲良くなるための第一歩として挨拶の<笑> それとも他の子に見られたら困るな。なんか私と指揮官について本当に変な噂が流れちゃっているわね。ね、狙い通り指揮官。作戦お疲れ様。あら、手を伸ばしてって。ああ。気持ち。<笑> 作戦お疲れ様、指揮官。ちょっとお手を拝借。キュッと。気持ちよさで疲労が抜けていく感じかしら。疲れたら私に寄りかかって休んでもいいわ。もしかして膝枕の方が良かった誰かに見られても at level 125 with max strengthening and affinity, Ticonderoga has 6,779 HP, 438 Aviation, 338 AA, 132 Reload, 56 Evasion, Medium Armor, 33 Speed, 90 Accuracy, 72 Luck, and Consumes, 13 Oil. Ticonderoga has three skills, with her skills focusing on damaging, shielding, and buffing. Her first skill, Wings of Soaring Flames, when Ty launches an airstrike, she also launches an aerial barrage. The barrage planes fire rockets that inflict burn to enemies hit. This burn stacks with other sources of burn, such as New Jersey's. The barrage deals 3,801.6 2,613.6, and 19,000.8 carrier bomb damage to light, medium, and heavy armor respectively, scaling 100% with the aviation stat and having a 60% chance to apply a special burn. Her second skill, Shielded Advance, decreases the first four instances of damage taken by 60% each battle. At the start of battle, and every 20 seconds after that, the lead vanguard ship gains a shield that blocks up to 6 shells and lasts 8 seconds. Very well fitting if San Francisco is in the first slot. Her third skill, Advanced Support Formation, increases Ticonderoga's aviation by 10%. When sortied with another carrier, decrease all damage the flagship of the main fleet takes by 15%. The recommended equipment for Ticonderoga is the prototype XF-5U, F7F Tiger Cat, or Sea Hornet for the fighter with the best surface damage and great AA. The prototype Tenrai or AD-1 Sky Raider for dive bombers with extremely high damage output. The Wyvern for the best general use parallel torpedo bomber. Two steam catapults for the best ox equips for carriers and a hunting bow that buffs evasion and AA, providing 20 more aviation when Ticonderoga kills 5 enemy aircraft with her own aircraft. Ticonderoga is a great carrier to accompany the other Eagle Union ships from Mirror Involution, such as New Jersey and San Francisco. 
Her first skill's barrage inflicts a unique burn with a 60% chance for the burn to be inflicted, as well as stacking with other types of burns, not to mention it deals a ton of damage. Her second skill allows her to survive initial strikes against her and would perform well in PvP battles with ships that target the main fleet, as well as making it so the tank in the Vanguard fleet becomes tankier with a shield. Her third skill is more a simple buff skill that buffs herself and the flagship if she's with another carrier, which would work well when paired with New Jersey, as she has a skill that buffs equal Union carriers in her own fleet. As for cons, I'd say when compared to other ships, her defensive skill is okay at best, but is outclassed by other, more defensive ships. Her fighters are more powerful than other planes, which should be taken into consideration, as fighters are mainly used for fighting other aircraft, though some can carry bombs. She's also outshined by the likes of her sister ships, Essex and Yorktown too. If you get her and don't have any other high-tier carriers, I'd recommend building Ticonderoga. But if you already have better ones, such as Perseus, Formidable, Essex, and Enterprise, stick with them, and have Ticonderoga at a medium raising priority. Thank you for watching. Please follow my Twitter for updates. I also stream, and please check out my other Azure Lane videos as well.